<laughs> Angela, your piece is absolutely wonderful. Can you just tell us a little bit about it? Thank you very much, Bonnie. Um, well, it's a quilt that I made because I was interested in using raw edge applique as a technique. And I also had seen some pictures of fractals. Now, I know this isn't a fractal, but it's kind of fractalish. It feels like a fractal. It's kind yeah. of fractalish. And so I was interested in being able to do spiky edges and things like this, which yeah. you couldn't normally do if you were doing applique, which was folded under. So I started doodling. And this is really a design that developed from doodling. And so it's got lots of spikes and peaks on it. And I like a little bit of glitz, so it's got sparkly oh, threads. and Glitz is a good thing. Glitz is a very good thing. <laughs> and then it has um, embroidery thread, which is glitzy as well on it. And um, I have used spirals as a quilting theme because I do a lot of Celtic, and Celtic is spiral. Yeah. Spiral is Celtic. So I, I began to feel that this somehow looked like the movement of air. And so it felt kind of swirls of air. And then talking to people who looked at it, they suggested that I called it Where Dragons Fly. Oh. And then it, it kind of looked dragony. Yeah. And that was why it got its title. And so that was really how it developed. Yeah. And um, it's a very simple technique where the edges just overlap and they're stitched with a uh, small zigzag. I see so. that. I'm curious, is this a, a pattern that's all drawn out? Well, it's doodling, really. It's just kind of spiky and twirls and going around. There's no great plan to it. And yeah. uh, so an original line through the middle first was the start of it, and then spikes on either side of it. So and did you so cut it out and then stitch it or stitch it and then cut oh it no, out? Oh, no, it's all cut out individually, each oh piece is. It's, it's crazy. It's not really. It's not really. It goes together faster than you'd believe. I do. Um, and but no, each piece was stu was cut out. And to save having very very long pieces on it, as you can see at each point, there's a division up here. I see. So the fabric breaks. So this would be one piece, and this would be one piece. Right. So and you can deal with it in that way. It's easy. Right. It's smaller. And you have a DVD on your process. Not I have several DVDs out which use this process. Um, it's a raw edged applique technique. Right. I have a book called Beautiful Blue. I have a DVD called Five Dot Flower, and although Perfect. it's a different pattern, it uses yeah. the same technique. Yeah. So we won't see this on any of the patterns, but the technique for doing you it. You won't is in see that. the pattern on it, but if, for instance, the Five Dot Flower technique um, DVD, if you looked at the Five Dot Flower DVD, you would understand that completely. Perfect. Shows Perfect. you exactly. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you, Bonnie. Pat, your pieces are absolutely wonderful. Could you tell me about this one in particular? Okay, well this one in particular, this is a reflection on my travels in Rajasthan. had a wonderful time there soaking up the atmosphere and the colours of that part of India. There were a few people that I met that really left an impression on me and this is one of three people that I've done quilts about. And this man was waiting, actually in the city, waiting for transport out to start his daily work out in the desert. I loved the way he was standing, I loved the folds of his night blanket that he had wrapped around him and just his sense of peace and solitude. Oh. I've taken him out of the city context and put him into the desert context. And my reason for doing him as a ghost is that people are in your lives for just a short period of time. People move in, you get something from them, you move on. And this man left that impression, but of course he's no longer in my life. So I've depicted him as a, as a ghost out in the desert yeah. there. The land stays constant, but people move. I love that. Oh, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Okay, so I found my dear friend, Karen Hellaby, who's going to tell us about her quilt here. Thank you, Bonnie. It's lovely to be called a dear friend. Well, we are, we are. <laughs> uh, this particular quilt I call my London quilt. I love London. And it is featured in my So Simple Pinwheels book. Perfect. And the book came out last year in 2012, and 2012 was a year for London. There was the Queen's Jubilee, and there was the Olympics. So I've got the... Uh, would you like to, me to show you? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, okay. 
So I have a panel here which depicts London. There's no need to cut this fabric at all because it shows all sorts of views of London. And then we have the I Love Border with the hearts. And then we have my design pinwheels here, which incorporates crowns in the fabric and union jacks and London taxi uh, drivers and buses and all sorts of things like that. So when I was actually teaching all over the world last year, I take this quilt with me and explain to people why London was the city of 2012 and why they should look at what was happening in London that year. Yeah. It is absolutely wonderful, and I love how special it is with all the different fabrics. Yes, it is. And did you notice the quilting too? Now, the quilting depicts fireworks because, of course, oh. the Queen's Jubilee and the Olympics finished off with the most amazing firework yeah. displays. Oh. So this is a sort of celebration quilt for yes. I Love London. Wonderful. Well, thank, thank you. you for sharing it with us. Thank you. Well, we found one more quilter. This is Helen Deegan, and she does these amazing, not quite flat pieces. Could you tell me about this one? Yes. <laughs> this is um, from my textile coil pots, which I made. And then I was invited to go into the um, wearable art fashion show and decided I ought to make a pot to wear. I see. <laughs> so that is what I did. You did, and it's quite colourful. Uh, quite colourful, because obviously I dyed all the fabric oh. first. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You may know my book, Dying in Plastic Bags. There we go. That is me. Perfect. And the one about pots. I just love how you say pots. Pots. <laughs> we say pots, but <laughs> you say it's so much better. And, and is that book it, still available? It is, and they've all been reduced in price because I'm trying to retire. You are. Oh, my gosh. Well, if they want to learn from you, they better hurry up. Yeah, right? on yeah. my website. On your website. Well, that's where you can get Helen's book and learn how to do a pot. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Helen. Lovely to see you.